Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Strangers in Time Challenge, which is the gatekeeper challenge within the Vault of Glass Raid. If you like this video, if you found value out of it, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So this challenge, in many respects, is fairly easy. It just requires some coordination. Let me kind of walk through that. Basically, for this challenge, you need to kill the Wyverns and the Minotaurs that are spawning in in the opposite Mars or Venus areas at around the same time. There's a little bit of wiggle room, probably a few seconds, but you need to pretty closely time it. Here's some strategies on how you can best do this. So first off, the wyverns, obviously, you can damage over time. So as they're coming down, I would try to, wherever possible, just damage them slowly, right? Get them ready. Once you actually get to the point of having the minotaur in position, then obviously if you time it correctly, then you just count down to when, and I would let the person with the relic count down because they're going to know when they're going to kill it. Count down probably, you know, depending on how close you are. If you're if you're close, you can probably do three, two, one. If you're further away, maybe say, hey, I need a little more time if you're working on the wyvern. And then they can count down maybe from five. But the point is you need to time it pretty close to each other. And you need to do that six times to finish up the challenge. Now, this can be tricky for some fire teams because if you're not timing the gatekeepers properly, if you're not keeping the plates clear, if people can't go back and forth, then that can get tricky. But there are some strategies. So first off, one thing you can do is you can have both, you can have a lot of people go into either Mars and Venus using Bleak Watcher on the Warlock and constantly freezing enemies. Because with that, you'll slow the enemies getting to the conflicts because obviously you don't want them to sacrifice. So the other thing you can do is that for the Wyvern, if you're worried about being able to damage it quickly enough, you can go with high uh, burst damage, DPS supers, things like Nova Bomb, Chaos Reach, Thunder Crash, things like that. So that when the person counts down who's taking out the Minotaur, you could do it basically instantly. The other thing is using some really good heavy weapons. So Anarchy can help, even though you need to be careful because you put too much Anarchy on them, you could kill them earlier in your planning. You can use Xenophage or High Powered Rocket Launcher or Grenade Launcher. You can use all sorts of things to be able to take, again, it needs to be high burst DPS heavies that you can take damage and knock them off pretty quickly. The other thing you could do if you're struggling, if you want to rely primarily on supers, is you could even rotate the people who are going in with the people who are guarding the plate, because then you could basically have someone going in on a regular basis who has a super available. So again, my what I would recommend is going as many bleak watchers as possible because the freezing basically takes the guesswork out of it. And just make sure you're taking those gatekeepers down as quickly as possible. And that's the video, guys. Again, really quick challenge this week. If you like the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.